What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Regina Michelle. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I like to talk about my journey as a part-time reseller on eBay and Macari. I like to buy things at a low price and sell them at a high price. Now, on occasion, I may come on here and talk about other things like hair or fashion, but today it's all about reselling. So if you like content like this, please like and subscribe and hit that bell and notification so you will know when I'm uploading a new video. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Let's talk about what sold on eBay. So guys, I had about 23 items to sell. Not a whole lot, but you all know I'm a part-time reseller. You all know I have a full-time job. I'm a wife, a mother, and a musician. So I have a lot of things to juggle. So we're going to go ahead and get into what sold. Also, I was challenged by Emily Conway. Emily Conway challenged me to the 15 holiday question. And it's just a Christmas challenge, talking about some of your um, favorite things to do during Christmas. So I'm going to be doing that also while I'm talking about um, what sold for me this month. And this is for my sales for November. So let's talk about what sold. I have my computer at my lap if I'm looking down. So let's talk about this first item. The first item was some corduroy pants. And these pants I purchased from Bulk, and I sold them for $12, and the buyer did pay shipping. So this first question says, what's your favorite holiday scent or candle? I really don't have one. I just, I'm just a creature of habit. I just love my coffee, and that that's a good smell for me. If I, and I burn candles all the time, so candles is, I don't burn anything special just because it's Christmas. I just like my same sweet smell. So the next item, this is an item that I did thrift. It's an Urban Outfitters um, plaid button down shirt and it's um, sold for $10.29 and the buyer did pay shipping. Um, the next item says, what's your favorite holiday beverage? That's simple. Creature habit that I am, coffee. Nothing more, just some good old coffee. The next item is that I saw was a vintage sweater. This sweater had lamb's wool in it and I thrifted it from the thrift store. It stayed in my bins for a while. It stayed in my bins for about three years, so. If when somebody sent me an offer, I was like, let me get this out of my bands. And it sold for $11 and the buyer did pay shipping. Do I have, the next question says, do you have any Christmas traditions? The only Christmas traditions I have is to spend a lot of time with family. I do a lot of cooking and I just sit around with my family and eat. Um, and we exchange um, a few gifts. Nothing really, um, just real simple. The next item I sold is an Oral-B toothbrush and this came from Wholesale Ninja um, liquidation case that I purchased. And as you can see, it sold for $9 and the buyer did pay shipping. This um, question says, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? My favorite thing about Christmas it's just spending time with my family. That's basically it. I love looking at the Christmas lights. I love decorating my tree. Me and my little girl, we um, we like to decorate the tree and we play Christmas music. So that's um, what I like about Christmas is just spending time with my family. The next item I had to sell was just a blue um, tank top and my um, YouTube friend Lanita Washington purchased this. Thank you. I appreciate you so much, Lanita, for um, purchasing this item. She paid full price for it, um, $10, and she paid for shipping. It feels so good when people 
that view your channel supports you. So Lanita, I just thank you so much and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I also have a challenge to do from Lanita. She um, challenged me to the 40 questions about um, getting to know you and I'm still trying to do it, but I'm gonna get it in, Lanita. Next item to sell was just um, a pair of socks. And I accepted a best offer of $11.99. And the buyer, um, it was free shipping on this item. This question says, real or fake Christmas tree? I just like the fake one because it's easier for me to assemble and I can keep it every year. I don't have to worry about going out and finding me a new Christmas tree. So it's always there in the box and I can just pull it out. So. Um, a fake tree works for me. The next item I sold was another pair of socks and I did not um, charge any shipping on it. And these socks came from bulk, my liquidation case that I purchased. And as you can see the buyer paid, I accepted the best offer of $6.80. The next item is Uncle Jimmy's Men's Beard Softener. And this came from Wholesale Ninjas. Um, and it sold for $13.75. This says, are you naughty or nice? I think I'm nice. And I think I need a cape on my back too because I do a lot of things for people, y'all. I'm always working hard. So yes, I'm nice and I need a cape, a super, a super woman cape on my back, so. <laughs> The next item to sell was um, a lot of Listerine and it sold for $19.99 and the buyer did pay shipping. I got this Listerine from Wholesale Ninjas in a liquidation um, case that I purchased and my brother bought it. Derek, thank you, Derek. The next item is a scarf. It's just a scarf that I purchased from the thrift store used. I thought someone would like the color gold because gold is a Christmas color and people sometimes look for different colors during um, Christmas. So I accepted a best offer of $6.75 and the buyer did pay shipping. I got this scarf for a dollar and it's something that I like so I thought somebody else would like it. I like to put little items like this in my store because it, um, it boosts the algorithm for me to get more sales. This says, do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or do you wait to the last minute? Most of the time I wait to the last minute or I start that beginning of December because I don't like stuff to buying gifts and stuff just kind of stresses me out so and most of the time when i start shopping everything is delivered to the house because even before the pandemic i did not want to be out in those stores y'all so everything comes straight to the house and i just started the beginning of december the next item to sell was just a dress a blue um dress and i accepted a best offer of ten dollars this came from a liquidation case from Macari I purchased. The buyer paid $10 and they paid the shipping on it. And it's a new with tags item. The next item is a limited women's wool pants, trousers, size eight. They stayed in my bins for so long, y'all. So when somebody sent me an offer for it, I was like, yes, you can leave. I accepted a best offer of $15.80 and the buyer did pay shipping. This question says, name all of Santa's reindeers. I don't know y'all, I can't remember. All I, I remember Rudolph, Prancer, I think Dancer and Nix and that's the rest of them I don't even know so. I think it was 12 of them, I'm not even sure. The next item to sell was just a Free People's um, Ruffle Crop Top. And I got this from a B&G Trading Liquidation. I got a lot of liquidations this time, y'all, but they do sell. I probably get some more um, because I like having new with tag items. 
And I accepted an offer of $15 and the buyer did pay shipping. This next item is an item that I thrifted from the thrift store at Love Ladies. I got it for a dollar because they have dollar days on Mondays. And I accepted a best offer of $11 and the buyer did pay shipping. This next um, question says, when does your family or you put the Christmas tree up? Usually I put it up um, that first um, week of December. And I'm always late, y'all. My plan is to put the tree up after Thanksgiving, but so many things come up, I always, I never meet my goal. So it goes up around that first week of December. The next item to sell is just an eyebrow pencil. And I got this from um, Wholesale Ninja Liquidation. They have these um, personal care cases that you can buy with makeup. And it sold for $11.99. The next item is an item that I sourced from the thrift store because as you can tell by this item, it's a hard good. It's, um, I try to source and learn different things to source, but I really didn't do good on this one because I didn't realize I had two um, knife holders like this one and I mistakenly thought that this one was the name brand one and I sold it for a low price. I accepted an offer of $8.75 and the buyer paid shipping. But I only paid, I paid $2 for this at the thrift store, but <sighs> lesson learned. The next item is just a tonic that I thrift from the thrift store. Uh, it's a pre-owned top and it had been in my bins for a while, so when someone sent me an offer, I accepted. I accepted an offer of $6 and the buyer did pay shipping. The next question of the Christmas challenge is, do you peek at gifts? Do you peek at your gifts or do you be surprised? Most of the time I'm surprised because really I don't get a whole lot of gifts. I'm the person that gifts most of the gifts now my mom and dad they may give me something but i don't get a chance to peek because i go over their house and i open it up the next item is some lipstick maybelline lipstick that i got from wholesale ninjas um personal care makeup um case and i accepted an offer of seven dollars and 59 cents and it was free shipping Lipstick is very, it's like under four ounces to um, ship. So I didn't charge the buyer any shipping. The next item, I got this at a yard sale, y'all. Your girl went to a yard sale, first yard sale of the year. And I came out with all of these DVDs. This one right here, Super Monkey Ball 2, sold for $24.99. I got this DVD for $2. So I was excited to see it go. And this is something that I source differently because I usually don't sell video games. So this is something new for me. I'm getting out of my box from selling clothes. So this question says, have you ever gone Christmas caroling? No. And don't do any Christmas caroling. The next item to sell was an Airwick Freshmatic well, an Airwick Automatic Air Freshener. And I sourced this from the Love Lady Thrift Store. I think it was like a dollar or something. And it was brand new, still in the box. And I accepted a best offer of $12. And the buyer did pay shipping. This next item is a jumper that my cousin gave me. Because she's always buying all these clothes and she never will and she never wears them. So she gave me this jumpsuit with the tag still on it. And I accepted a best offer of $10 and the buyer did pay shipping. Thanks, cousin Erica. The next question on the Christmas challenge is, where do you spend your holiday? 
most of the time on Christmas, I just go to my mom's house and we just exchange gifts. That's the house that we go to for Christmas. Y'all, this next item is another video game called Animal Crossing. And it's a video game I got from that yard sale. I paid $2 for this video game. And it sold for $40. And the buyer paid shipping. So in all, it was like $47.80 with tax. I was excited about that sale because seeing a $47 sale, for me, it's good. This next item is a lot of Mazzani Supreme Oil Hair Treatment. And I use this on my hair to straighten out my hair. It's still kind of bushy, but I kept a bottle. And... I liked it. So whoever has it, I know they're going to like it. And I got this item for $2. It was 10 of them I got. Um, and they were selling for $2. I know, I know that Mazzani is a good hair care product. So I lotted them up. And the buyer paid $24.99. And they paid for shipping. So that was a good sale for me. And I have this... Um, this is a multi-quantity listing, so hopefully some more will sell. Next item is a Mario Brothers um, GameCube video. This is another one that I got from the yard sale, y'all. It sold for $45. Your girl was happy about that $45, y'all, because I don't never see anything sell for $45. So I was happy about that, so... I'm going to be on the lookout for these video games and learn more about them. Now, this Christmas challenge question says, this is the last Christmas challenge. It says, what is your favorite holiday decoration? And my favorite holiday decoration would have to be the Christmas tree. I love having a Christmas tree in my home. I put it in my living room and I like looking at the lights and it just... It just brightens up the um, atmosphere. So that's my favorite thing to have and to decorate. And we like to put candy canes on our Christmas tree. That's all of my items that sold you all for um, November. I'm probably going to be doing my solds, my what sold videos a little different um, for the beginning um, for January 2021. I just want to try something different. So I hope you all are enjoying your family. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. I will be coming on sometime. And I'm going to be doing different types of videos sometimes about reselling. And occasionally, I'm going to come on and talk about hair care and just some different hauls that I, um, clothing hauls, um, just some different things because I'm a multi-dimensional person. I like to do different things and I have different talents in different areas. So, and just different things that I like to share and talk about. So I'll be doing them occasion, occasionally, not a whole lot, but just want to let you all know what I plan for the channel. But I hope you all have a great day. I hope you be blessed, Merry Christmas, and shine bright.